Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, creator of the Dr. Destroyer book, and I want to go over some questions and some concepts on the spleen that's going to be valuable for the MCAT, the DAT, and the OAT exam. The spleen is the largest lymphatic organ. It's in the upper left quadrant of the abdominal cavity, and it has a very, very rich blood supply. Now, there's two main functions. It's going to, and we'll elaborate, it filters the blood, if you remember, that we spoke about, and it contains a lot of immune cells. So it's going to react immunologically to blood antigens. Now, these lymphocytes can be of the T cell, B cell, we can have macrophages, plasma cells, dendritic cells. So as you can see, there's a huge population of immune fighting cells in the spleen. Now, there's a few other things that we should know going into the exams. One, it removes old and damaged red blood cells and platelets. So these cells that are damaged are removed and they sort of, they don't pass inspection. And if they don't pass inspection, they're gonna be broken down by macrophage. And the lysosomes of the macrophage, if you remember, we said that they're very rich in lysosomes, will be in charge of digestion. Now, all's not lost though, because we're gonna be saving the iron. The iron is gonna be used once we break down the hemoglobin molecule, and we're gonna store it as either ferritin or hemocytorin. So those are the two storehouses of iron. Heme portion is also broken down, and that's gonna be broken down to bilirubin, which is gonna to go to the liver. Storing blood. You can almost think of this as like a little piggy bank. If you need extra reserve, it reserves up to about a cup of blood. So in times of need, if there's trauma and there's extreme blood loss, the spleen has a little extra blood supply. Forming red blood cells in early fetal life. As you know, we spoke about last time, red bone marrow will make the red cells um, and other cells, but in the early going of early fetal life, it's gonna be the spleen synthesizes antibodies. That's something we may not have covered. So the synthesis of antibodies, which you know are proteins, immunoglobins are done by the spleen. A large percent of the monocytes are actually in the spleen. So that's the storehouse of monocytes, which you know can differentiate. If you remember, I taught you about the M&Ms, monocytes go to macrophages. Macrophages can also differentiate um, or monocytes can also, also differentiate into dendritic cells, which are the antigen-presenting cells. B cells mature, and they turn into plasma cells in the spleen. And if you remember, plasma cells, that's part of the um, antibody or the humoral immune system. If you looked under a microscope at the spleen, you would see that there's divided into the white pulp and the red pulp. So you gotta see this if you Google it or if you go to my bio study notes. I'm not sure I put a picture of the spleen in, but maybe if I have that in, if not, you can go to any book. The white pulp is an accumulation of lymphocytes and it's suspended in different fibers, reticular fibers, which I discuss in my notes. So you think lymphocytes, which are immune function, that's the white pulp. The red pulp, well, the name gives it away, it contains a large number of red blood cells as well as macrophages. Now remember, old red blood cells are removed, but the liver also aids in the destruction of red blood cells. I can't see, tell you how many PhD papers I read on this. Who gets the prize, the liver or the spleen? And it seems to be 50-50. So if you wanna pursue it a little bit, who's more important in, in killing of the red blood cells, destroying them, where's the graveyard? Um, I think the best answer would be the spleen. But like I said, there's support that the liver also plays a role. So I'm gonna, all, I'm gonna pretty much call it almost a draw, but I'll still give the spleen the heads up on it. I hope this helps and give you some good understanding of this vital organ, which most students, um, they have no concept on. So make sure you understand what's going on. All right, bye-bye.